Find all our courses at Minded.com. We already know that every organization is going to have some stakeholders and these stakeholders are going to have some goals. So they are simply bringing something into the organization and would like to receive something in return. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to satisfy these stakeholders goals and what problems can arise. So imagine we have this company, which is called company on the top. And now we have, I have brought uh, uh, three examples or, or this is my best attempt for drawing three kinds of stakeholders. So let's imagine that the first ones are going to be, uh, let's say that these are our shareholders. So shareholders, so they invested some money into our company. Then second stakeholder is going to be, let's say our customers. So customers, so they are buying our products and of course are expecting some high quality or lower price. And then the first stakeholder, let's imagine it's going to be our managers, managers. Now let's imagine what are these three in particular expecting or, or what are they hoping for to get from our company for their input. So at first we have our shareholders, of course, they are expecting dividends or simplified they are expecting money or capital to to get from our company secondly we have uh, customers well they are expecting high quality product and of course lower price for our products so lower price and finally we have a uh, managers and these managers are expecting some salaries salaries now think about it now we have some goals so we have told ourselves we have some goals of our stakeholders goals now these goals are all, when you look at them here we have here we have essentially money which is in in sense of a capital here we again have a lower price so they are again talking about some money so money again and in a third case we have a salaries which is essentially again money and as you can see, these goals are there after competing. If we would like to satisfy our shareholders to a larger extent, then we cannot satisfy customers maybe to full extent and we cannot give that much money to our managers. So that's what we call a competing goals. So we have a competing goals, competing, competing goals. Now, what every organization needs to do is that they need to minimally satisfy or to minimum extent. So every organization needs to satisfy, to satisfy, to minimum extent, satisfy and set, satisfy to minimum extent, to minimum extent these our competing goals what does that mean let's say that our shareholders have invested one million dollars and every month they are expecting at least five thousand dollars or let's say ten thousand dollars so they are expecting ten thousand dollars every month now customers are expecting that the price we will try to push down the price and we will invest into lowering the price ten thousand dollars again every month so investing into our maybe manufacturing and thanks to that we can lower the price and again we should invest ten thousand dollars per month and managers we have two managers and all together they are expecting ten thousand dollars every month so you can see what what does that mean when we have three stakeholders and all of them are expecting some certain price well that means that our organization should produce a, a sort of a sort of a value of thirty thousand dollars every month so we need to minimally satisfy all of these stakeholders or, or to a minimum extent all of them now we are getting to a, a, a connected problem and that is called allocating of rewards so allocation allocation of rewards of rewards and that occurs when we have been able to minimally satisfy all of our stakeholders so we have produced a value of thirty thousand dollars but we have produced even more so let's say we have produced let's say fifteen thousand more 
$15,000 more. Now, what should we do with this? It's what we call a reward. So this is a reward. Now, how should we allocate it? Should we give more money to our shareholders? Should we lower the price for our products? Or should we give uh, some rewards to our managers? Of course, we should try to uh, uh, make it equal and try to satisfy all of them to a larger extent. So here we have 5,000 and again here we have 5,000 more. So as you can see, all of the stakeholders have some goals. However, these goals are quite often competing, but we should try to satisfy all of these stakeholders to a minimum extent. And then when we produce sort of more value, we should allocate the rewards fairly.